Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Wednesday Thought Park Resort have revealed concept images and plans for the brand new roller coaster. I'm going to make my prediction after I've seen the contact images. Now, before we get started, leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger there. Before we get started, guys, make sure you do like the video. Make, please subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. We are getting on the road to 2,700 subscribers. In fact, we're getting closer and closer to 3,000 altogether. So, let's get there as soon as possible. Shout out to Jack Silkstone. I was on his Twitch stream uh, just a couple of days ago, and it was amazing to see Jack Sil Silkstone talk with Jack Silkstone. Fingers crossed, get him on the channel as soon as possible to talk about Thorpe's new ghost app. Uh, now also guys, make sure you do check out the social media stuff in the description down below and also the Google Forms reaction uh, form where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now guys, let's have a look at the concepts for Thorpe's new coaster. The island like no other is getting a new coaster, come on! So here is the detail plan then. So first of all, this first image here is the actual plan and you see there, there is the layout. Now obviously, uh, you can see the plaza area, uh, sort of near to where Creek Freak Massacre is. I think this is pretty much hinted now and it's hinted by the website as well uh, that the Creek Freak Massacre uh, is, under, is under review, shall we say. I think it's pretty much... Um, you know, on could be on its way out. Uh, and actually, using the public consultation website uh, and looking at the site part um, of the, you know, of, of the area. Um, obviously, this is developed um, this in the uh, uh, Old Town area, and it will be replacing Lumber Jump, the Rocky Express, and Timber Tugboat. Uh, however, looking at the proposal. Uh, obviously, we know from the proposal. Um, I, I mean, the creek, the, the creek freak massacre area. Sort of, it looks like that's where the uh, retail area is. I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the creek freak massacre building is where that retail F and Q is, uh, and, and obviously next to it's the photo booth. So I've got a big feeling the creek freak massacre is going to get removed. Now, obviously, they did say they wanted to try and keep at least one of these rides that have been removed. So obviously, that we know that um, I think the Rocky Express is more than likely going to be kept. I think that kept. I think that's the one that they're going to try and keep. Uh, the other two, I think, they might send somewhere else. But uh, there we go. The train station for the coaster itself looks to be where the old Canada Creek Railway Station used to be. So obviously they're using the entire plot of land for this. And of course the old Old Town will be closed around in the 2022 season to uh, begin the work on this coaster and this whole plaza area. Uh, now obviously, like I said, the train station is where uh, the uh, old Canada Creek Railway Station used to be. It won't follow the Loggers Leap route, we knew that already. Uh, now obviously you're going to want to see the concept images, right? Here they are. So look at this first one. Now, first of all, this big old bank, let's call it a bank. Um, <laughs> uh, you could, uh, you, I guess you could call it a bank. Um, is, that a, is that a big bank turn or is it an inversion? We're not too sure yet. Um, obviously, look at that drop though, near that Plaza Bridge area. That is a splashdown section. So you'll be able to see the splashdown. Uh, and if you could just see, I don't know if you can see it, but if you could just see, if you look really closely where the trees are, at the, at the full left-hand side of the image, you can see a tunnel area for part of the coaster track. And obviously there's this nice bit of straight track, uh, which I think is the brake run. So um, obviously, you know, that, that's a really long brake run. <laughs> but you see the tunnel bit in the, in the grass area. That's really interesting. So a nice tunnel section there. The next concept image is from the queue line of the ride, and you can see 
look at that straight away. No, not the orange jumpers, but uh, the outer bank turn. Uh, this outer bank turn coming out of the station. Now, the station obviously doesn't look that well themed. However, it is early concept art. So, of course, that doesn't include all the theming of the ghost town. However, um, obviously, you know, you've got the, this outer bank turn here, which is very untamed at Wallaby Holland like. Um, obviously, we know from the track and from the supports, it is not going to be an RMC. I mean, they're still talking to potential manufacturers, uh, but I think by this point, we know it's not going to be an RMC. Uh, <laughs> it'd be really, very really interesting if it's RMC. I'd be very surprised, but uh, it's not. No, 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 it's not. And I'm going to talk about manufacturers later in this video because I've got some pretty interesting theories on that one. Uh, but you can see this massive lift until you can see what looks to be some kind of inverted drop, kind of like the Swarm's first drop. Uh, but it, it's like Hyperion in a way, so it's sort of like it comes up, it'll twist, and it'll turn downwards like a half loop. So I think that's really interesting. Obviously, the queue line, obviously, this is just early concept art, but you can see by the style of the queue line, for example, uh, that's very. I won't call it Ziggy Zaggy, I won't call it that, I won't call it Cattle Bend Q-Line either, uh, which where it's just, you know, in, out, in, out, shake it all about, you know, doing the hokey cookie and turn around, that's what it's all about, uh, but I think that the Q-Line, obviously, I think the Q-Line will be better than that, I think it won't just be in, out, Cattle Penny style. Obviously, it won't look cattle penny with all the theming, I'm sure, will go up. Um, but I think there will be some sections, like like Wickerman, for example. Wickerman's queue line has some in outy sections of the queue line, but it'll dip down under the ride and things like that. So I think there might be different elements of the queue line experience to uh, this particular investment. This next Q, uh, this next concept art, queue line video, concept art, uh, is another bit of the plaza area coming out of the splashdown section. Uh, looks like a bit of an outer bank... Uh, uh, turn um, underneath that big element there. So I think again that was inspired by Intamin, RMC, and then of course that little section at the other end of the uh, photo where it just comes up and gets, gets ready to go into this big old break run. And again the views from the lake is going to be absolutely fantastic. Finally we've got this one. Now this one obviously has a different looking track shape. However, uh, we can pretty much tell it's a similar layout. And um, this is like an O, like an, it's sort of when you're looking up at the ride what you're going to see. And um, obviously this looks absolutely fantastic from the sort of aerial look. So uh, obviously I'm really excited about this. But now let's talk about my thoughts on the investment. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill 6 of all ages. That is speaking about the brand new concept images for Thor Park Resort. Now, obviously, we do have uh, some interesting discussions that are still yet to be made. And, of course, the big one is who will manufacture this coaster? I think it's very, very clear for me. This might be early concept art, but I have a clear indication in my big old noggin about who is going to manufacture this ride. Now... I've thought long and hard about this. I think I've got an idea of what's coming. And people people may disagree, but um, I've got a gut feeling this will happen. This is going to be a Mac Hyper Coaster with inversions. Now this is gonna, now if you wanna look for examples, you've got Flash at Lure Adventure, you've got DC Rivals Hyper Coaster. I think what Mac's doing with this one though, I think what Mac Rides is potentially doing with this one though, is taking elements from RMC, from Condor at Wolverine, Belgium, and applying it to their own Mac Hyper Coaster, which I'll, I'm all down for. I'm absolutely all down for. I love the look of this coaster. I absolutely love it. And um, like I said, I think this is a really great looking coaster. Hopefully this is a 2024 edition, so I can do it as part of a dual trip for the, with the London Resort theme park. So uh, fingers crossed both goes ahead. But um, but yeah, Thought Park Resort just knocking it out of the park with this one. The concepts look absolutely incredible. In my gut feeling, I think it will be a Mac Hyper Coaster. It's not confirmed yet, but I think the gut feeling is it's going to be a Mac Hyper Coaster. Obviously, all the labels, all the signs are pointing to the code name of Project Exodus. Now, when we first saw that evidence of the Exodus name in the sort of X No Way Out style writing in the trailer's maze as a poster, as a bit of theming for the, for the, for the scare maze, uh, Fright Nights, I thought it was going to be a Walking Dead re theme, but guess not. <laughs> but um, the codename Project Exodus, I mean, 
And de bearing in mind, did you see the video where I think there was a video on Thought Parts Twitter where they were announcing like Q and A's about the like question, like send the staff member questions about the coaster, for example. Um, and there was that effect where they sort of um, sort of put the the woman, the female presenter in the the frame, and then had the old classic writing to signal the end of Old, old Town. Uh, Old Town's rides for next year, etc. I think there was the word Exodus down there as well. So it's been popping up left, right, and center on graffiti, on videos, on posters. So we kind of had an idea the Exodus was going to go somewhere. Little did I know it was going to be for this. But um, is this the end of Old Town? Is this the end of, you know, the Old Town theme? Are we going to see a completely new themed area, like a, a military, like an X Sector style area, or like a, a sci-fi themed area, like a dark sci-fi themed area. I think that would be pretty cool, like a dark sci-fi, abandoned sci-fi base uh, down in the uh, down in the island. That would be really cool. Now, we don't know if the coast will actually be called Exodus or if it's just a project name, because I think Exodus would be an interesting name, but uh, they'll probably go with something else. But, uh, oh my God, overall this looks amazing. And I actually still can't believe that 10 years after the swarm, I now get to report on a Thought Park roller coaster project. Now, with the celebration for this, we have just launched our Thought Park Project Exodus playlist. So make sure you do go and check all that out for the other videos we've done on this project. But there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this Theme Park News Report Day. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chow. Keep living the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thought-tastic day. <laughs> I can't wait.